How are you guys doing? Today is Tuesday, September 21st, 2021, the 21st day of September. Um, I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I'm going to do an elite individual profile on Devin Williams. The elite relief pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers turns 27 today, and my intention with this episode is, of course, to bring light to what he's been able to do in his very short tenure in the league, as uh, in his three years with the Milwaukee Brewers, his pitching has been very crucial in helping them just become one of the best pitching teams in baseball. They are known throughout the league as one of the most formidable pitching lineups and rotations, and Devin Williams is a big reason why. Just to give a little bit of background, he's originally from Florissant, Missouri. He would end up going to get drafted with the fifth, the fourth overall selection of the 2013 MLB draft. And then after, go, after undergoing a bunch of surgeries in the minors until he got to the major leagues finally, uh, he would make his debut in the majors with the Milwaukee Brewers in his age 24 season in 2019. In that season, he would play 13 games in a season where the Brewers would finish with the second best record in the NL Central. They finished with an 89 and 70, 73 record. Um, and they would go on to clinch one of the wild card spots and in that season itself, in the 13 games he played, Devin Williams pitched about 13 innings. In those 13 innings, he allowed 11 hit or 18 hits. He allowed nine runs. Six of them were earned. He struck out 14 batters in those 13 innings. So he would go on to have more strikeouts than innings pitched in his very first season in the league. He would go on to finish with a 3.95 ERA on the season. And at the conclusion of the year, the Milwaukee Brewers would end up losing in the wild card game to the Washington Nationals. And this is the year where the Nationals went on to win the World Series. So that season, they went on, they, they lost to the World Series champs. And then in 2020, this would transition us into this most recent uh, completed season that was impacted by COVID to the point where the 162 game season was shortened to 60 games. But they did expand the playoffs for both leagues from five teams to eight teams. And looking at how he fared in this shortened season, in his age 25 season, Devin Williams would go on to be named the National League Rookie of the Year as a relief pitcher, which is incredibly tough to do. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to break down very quick, very slowly what he was able to do in his rookie season. He pitched or in the 22 games he played, first of all, to help the Brewers make it to the playoffs. So it's not like he it's not like his win his his pitching wasn't winning big games. He will go on to pitch 27 innings. In those 27 innings, he only allowed one earned run. Yeah, he, he allowed four runs. And but that was because that was the year they introduced the extra base runner in the 10th inning and a lot of times just the runs that he would allow they just wouldn't be attributed to him at least they wouldn't be earned to him um, but still allowing only four runs and in 27 innings pitched even that is just above a one era if you're doing the math on that but with his era would end up being 0.33 on the season uh, he will go on to finish with a four and one record on the year in the 27 innings he pitched he only allowed eight hits he allowed a single digit amount of hits and he played 22 different games. He would strike out 53 batters on the season, which almost doubled his innings pitched outing. He would go on, in addition to being named the rookie of the year, he finished seventh in Cy Young voting in a season where Trevor Bauer won. Every pitcher ahead of him, I believe, was a starting pitcher in the Cy Young race. And of course, even just saying that should give people a bit of a, a, a bit of a glance into how dominant his rookie season was uh, with Milwaukee. And he was pitching in the same lineup with Josh Hader. So it was very tough to kind of carve out a little lane for your own and even get noticed in Josh Hader's pitching rotation. Uh, following the 2020 season, the Milwaukee Brewers would lose in the wild card round yet again to the eventual World Series champs. They would get swept by the LA Dodgers in the very first round as they had clinched that eighth seed. And so with that, they were not able to get through. And following that 2020 season, that leads us to where we currently are with Devin Williams in the season where he, in his age 26 season, where now he is turning 27. So far this season, he's played 57 games for a Milwaukee Brewers team that has already clinched the playoffs in the NL Central or one of the three available spots. Uh, they are sitting at a 91 and 59 record. Just to give a sense of how good they are, they're sitting 10 and a half games ahead of the second place Cardinals in their division. It's a matter of time before they clinch the division. 
and looking at what Devin Williams has been doing over the midst of this season thus far. In the 57 games he's played, he's pitched 53 innings, the most innings he's pitched in a season to date because his rookie season or his, his, his intro to the league came right before COVID. Uh, he's allowed 36 hits in the 53 innings he's pitched. So that's a yet another season with less hits than innings pitched, at least uh, at to date. He's allowed 15 earned runs on the season in 53 innings. So his ERA is sitting at 255. Uh, he's on pace to have a second consecutive season with an ERA below three, which is incredible for any pitcher starting or relief in any level, major or minor, or even college or even peewee. A three ERA is amazing. He would go on to, right as of now, he struck out 86 batters in those 53 innings pitch, which is 33 more strikeouts than innings pitch, considering he's played only 57 games this season. And once again, he was able to put up numbers that was reminiscent of his, of his rookie season in which he was named the NL Rookie of the Year, the NL reliever, the reliever of the Year. And he would also go on to make the all MLB second team as well. Um, but as of right now, the end of the season hasn't been done. They have not given out awards. But thus far this season, Devin Williams has shown that he is one of the league's premier um, relief pitchers. It feels as though he's going to be around for a long time. And I... I believe the Brewers should be breaking the bank sometime soon for this guy. And hopefully by this time next year, he'll be able to impress the MLB some more. I want to thank the MLB reference websites and, of course, the MLB websites for giving me the facts and figures that I needed. Um, I, of course, want to thank everyone for listening to all six, seven minutes of this piece. And if you ever get a chance of watching Devin Williams, he's wearing number 38 for the Brewers. Thanks once again. Um, I want to... Thank everyone once again for listening to this piece. Once again, today is Tuesday, September 21st, 2021. Once all of today's matchups and exhibitions are completed, I will come back tomorrow on Wednesday, September 22nd for another episode of The Elite. And until then, I want to thank everyone once again. I hope all is well and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out.